My name is Anna Burkhardt. I am a curatorial assistant in the Department of Architecture and Design here at MoMA, and today I will be speaking about this butaque chair designed by Clara Porset in 1957. I think this object feels very personal to me because I grew up in Colombia, particularly in Bogota, in a house that was really filled with very elegant and very beautiful craft pieces. My mother was a textile designer and she was particularly interested in learning from the indigenous and campesino communities around Bogota, but also in other parts of Colombia that were really proponents for different ways of using materials and different ways of creating objects. If you come from Latin America or even the Caribbean or even some parts of the U.S., you will know the butaque chair. When we say butaque, we refer to a type of design that exists in many different variations. And so in this case, butaque speaks to a low inclined easy chair with a high back, as you can see here. Clara Porcet was born in Matanzas, Cuba in 1895 to an affluent family, and so she was able to travel to the United States to study design as well as to Europe where she was able to meet and learn from some of the students and teachers that worked at the Bauhaus. After she returned from her studies to Cuba, she worked as a designer as well as a teacher. She was always an avid supporter of Fidel Castro's revolutionary project, and eventually she sort of got into a bit of trouble because of her political beliefs, and that led her to move to Mexico, where she really established herself as a designer by investigating Mexico's craft traditions and sort of saying that the process of industrialization in Mexico and Latin America cannot exist without these sophisticated craft traditions. The work is made out of wood and wicker, which is a type of straw. The butaque became her signature piece. It became really prevalent throughout Mexico. So when I look at this piece, I think of Clara Porcet and a woman who had the privilege of having a platform and used it for advocating for these skilled practices in Latin America. But I also think about the skilled craftspeople that had been producing these really wonderful pieces for years and years before Clara Porcet sort of arrived in Mexico. And it really makes me think of their stories and really who they were. And I, I kind of see it as a little bit of a responsibility as a cultural worker in a place like MoMA, try to unearth those stories as well and highlight them in the museum.